Hi everyone, welcome to the History of Football channel. Today I'll be doing another Forgotten Football Ground. I recently did Summerton Park, the former home ground of Newport County. Today's video is going to be the Hewish Athletic Ground, the former home of Yeovil Town between 1920 to 1990. Yeovil Town had initially made an approach to buy the Hewish Field at the end of 1898 from the owners of the area, Brutton's Brewery, but this approach was unsuccessful. Negotiations continued before the First World War for a move to this more central location of the town, with the club at the time playing at another home ground called the Penn Mill Station. The summer of 1920 saw Yeovil and Petters United leave Penn Mill Athletic Ground after the purchase of the land at Hewish from the brewery for £1,725. The new ground saw its first competitive fixture being played on the 28th of August 1920 when the reserve team played against Christchurch in the Dorset League. An attendance of 1,500 people witnessed Yeovil and Petters United win five goals to nil. Initially, the terraces were flat with the only covered accommodation in the form of a 300-seater stand that had been bought from the Penn Mill ground. That stand was soon to be extended to include dressing rooms costing £733 and additional capacity, and it remained in place until 1963. In the 1920s and 1930s, there were major developments at the ground. At a board meeting on the 7th of February 1938, the first of many plans to level the pitch were discussed, but the practicality and the cost of such a scheme made this impossible. The ground slope became infamous with the pitch sloped six feet along the halfway line and eight feet from corner to corner. In 1939, in an FA Cup third round replay match against Sheffield Wednesday, hordes of supporters who had climbed onto the roof of the Queen Street end caused the roof to split from one end to the other, but the spectators were safely removed. At the time, this was a ground record attendance of 14,329. In the same month, a loudspeaker system was purchased for £10, and in July of the same year, a quotation for £514 was received to build a retaining wall and to provide a concrete terrace at the Brutton's end. Costs, however, stopped this project from happening. During World War II, Hewish was first used by the War Office as an ammunition store and then by the United States Army, who had offered to level the pitch if they were allowed to play baseball at the ground. However, their offer was not taken up. In 1949, Yeovil Town caused one of the greatest upsets in FA Cup history when they defeated Sunderland two goals to one at the Hewish Athletic Ground. At the time, Yeovil Town were in the Southern League and Sunderland were one of the best teams in the country. In 1955, Yeovil Town installed floodlights at their ground and the first competitive match under floodlights was on the 8th of March 1955 against Tottenham Hotspur. Yeovil Town won that game two goals to nil. The first competitive league game under the floodlights came against Bass City on the 23rd of March 1955. This match ended in a two-all draw. Further improvements were made to the ground in the 1960s and 1970s. In the 1980s, the slope that the club had refused to level during and after the war was, by the 1980s, one of the barriers to promotion to the Football League. In the last decade at the ground, the club spent over £200,000 in the interest of crowd safety. The main stand underwent a massive renovation with the introduction of staircases and fireproofing, while the terraces saw the introduction of crash barriers and segregation areas, and in the last season at Hewish, the purchase of a closed circuit television system which cost the club £15,000. In the mid 1980s, the club saw a move away from Hewish Athletic Ground due to the costs of maintaining their old stadium, and they elected a new site at Houndstone. On the 21st of March 1989, the club finally got permission for an out-of-town stadium on land previously used by the Houndstone Army Camp, and just over a year later, a home match against Telford United on the 5th of May 1990 marked the end of 70 year of football at Hewish Athletic Ground. Shortly after Yeovil Town moved to their new ground, bulldozers moved in and demolished the site which is now a Tesco supermarket. For several years after, a weathercock on top of the Tesco's building clock tower showed a metal design with small figures of footballers. This is now located on the top of the scoreboard above the Copse Road Terrace at Hewish Park. Some items from Hewish were transferred to other grounds such as the turnstiles, 
which ended up at Exmouth Town, but the majority of it has ended up as rubble. The record attendance at the Hewish Athletic Ground was the aforementioned FA Cup match against Sunderland in 1949. 17,123 people attended that game. Yeovil Town currently play at Hewish Park, where they've been since 1990, and they had some good times there. They were even a championship side in the 2010s. Unfortunately, these days, Yeovil Town have fallen on hard times, and now they currently play in the National League South, having been relegated from the National League last year, finishing 22nd. So that concludes my video on the Hewish Athletic Ground, the former home of Yeovil Town Football Club between 1920 to 1990. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. I'm sorry there wasn't really much information on this ground. Like Somerset Park, there wasn't too much road about it. And uh, there wasn't too many photos of it either. So I did my best with this video. I know a few people requested me to do it and I've done so today. And if you like History of Football on YouTube, you can also find me on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram. I post there daily. So if you like all things History of Football, go and check me out on there. I'll put links in the description below and I also run a Rugby League History page. I run a Facebook page for that, Instagram, YouTube and TikTok. I'll put links for them below as well. Anyways, this has been History of Football and I'll catch us all later in the next video. Alright, tell you bye for now.